Hi, Peter Allen here at Mastodon Valley Farm, and we are down at our hemp field. This year we grew a half acre of high CBD hemp, and uh, we're looking at some of the plants right now. Uh, we are a regenerative farm, so our primary purpose here is restoring ecosystems and uh, building up soil. And so the main way we do that is by grazing cattle and pigs and sheep and goats and chickens and utilizing those livestock to help create disturbances in ecosystems and provide more niches for more plants to boost diversity and then also rapidly build topsoil. So that's kind of our primary purpose here and, and our main byproduct of that is uh, an extremely nutrient dense meat. So we sell beef, pork, chicken, lamb and uh, that meat is very nutrient dense because these animals live in intact ecosystems and they eat a diversity of food grown from rehabilitated soil. So soil that is rich in microbial life and diverse and, and has a lot of topsoil in it. And so our primary purpose is building soil. And so in the, in the uh, attempt to grow annual crops, we had to figure out a way to do it in a way that actually builds soil. So most of the time when you grow an annual crop, whether it's hemp or corn or tomatoes, you have to till the soil in order to create a substrate to plant into. And so we're a pretty anti-tillage here for our, our home garden. We, we employ no-till techniques. So we wanted to figure out a way to do no-till hemp at scale. And so, because we want to produce a medicine here that is superior in terms of potency and nutrient density. And so when you disturb the soil, you disturb the, the ecology of the soil and you create plants that are a little less healthy. And so if you can grow plants, annual plants in, uh, in intact soil that hasn't been disturbed, then those plants are gonna be healthier and they're gonna be uh, more nutrient dense and, so, and more potent medicine. And so for our hemp, what we did instead of tilling is we uh, put a bunch of hay bales out in this field and let our cows graze them and they basically after they're done grazing the bales the bales are spread out and it creates a hay pack which uh, holds moisture it breaks down to create more topsoil and it uh, suppresses any weeds that grow and so when we transplanted our seedlings here we were able to do it in a way that we didn't have to come back and behind and weed now most hemp is grown uh, in fields where they suppress weeds using plastic. And so the way most hemp is grown is the land is tilled and then uh, strips of plastic are put out and then plants are transplanted into that plastic. So we decided to try this year putting out hay instead of plastic and then planting into that. And it turned out really, really well. These are very uh, robust plants that have full flower development. Um, and they're really big. Most of the plants are around six feet tall. Some of them are even eight or nine feet tall uh, with pretty good size uh, flowers on them. Uh, we, we went with a variety that had thinner flowers because uh, this is a very humid environment and we didn't want any kind of rot issues. We didn't know what the weather was gonna be like in the fall. And so this is an abacus cherry cross um, and we're really happy with it. So, when we do the no-till, it allows the soil to be intact. And then by putting the hay down, we're actually increasing the soil. And so topsoil is being built as a byproduct of growing this hemp crop instead of, instead of destroying soil. When you till, it releases the carbon that was in that soil, the topsoil. The organic matter gets oxidized and goes into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. And most of us realize that we don't really need much more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We're, we're doing just fine with that okay thanks so we are trying to pioneer ways of of growing annual crops that actually sequester carbon and build soil and, and by doing it this way that hay breaks down turns into soil that soil that carbon is then sequestered in the soil and our byproduct here are these beautiful hemp flowers so we are really excited about harvest today is the equinox and so this week and the week following we will be harvesting drying curing and we will have some very high quality and high potency CBD flower available soon.